podcast about um whatever allison wants us to talk about legitimately um joined as always by allison bringer of topics <laughs> chris creator of topic definitions and i am gary also creator of topic definitions i'm glad you could join us today i'm uh coming down off of a computer panic so i'm a little a little shaky as we kick this thing off but i'm sure that We'll figure it out as we always do, um, right after Allison gives us a topic. Have you all been? It's been a little while after I called an audible last week. Yeah. Let's I've go. been walking around practicing saying the name of the topic for this week, <laughs> which is always a good sign. So you, you haven't been holding this topic for two weeks, have you? Because that would be a little annoying if you're walking around for two weeks, like mumbling the topic. To No, the, I had a topic... I was flying by the seat of my pants last week, and then I had a topic, and then I discarded it for this week's topic. Um, so that one got put on the back burner for maybe another week. I don't know. See how I feel about it. I'm very fickle when it comes to these topics. <laughs> Sometimes one week they suit they suit me more. Than... To be clear, wandering around and muttering the topic is not like wandering around town muttering the topic to yourself no. as you're like in grocery stores and doing your, like going to coffee shops. It's not like it, we're not like like so you shouldn't imagine like Allison like absolutely do not imagine Allison wandering down the street just muttering to herself some strange word that nobody recognizes. That that's not what's happening. This is like wandering around the, the abode, just the apartment. Yeah. So that's definitely what I was imagining. <laughs> well, I, I muttered to myself, but just not one word over and over again <laughs> outside. I do full sentences when I'm outside. I get that. I definitely full, get that. I do a lot of Full trains of thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, little le it's a little more accepting for people. But, yeah. Now, today I was wandering around muttering. Let's see if I can pull this off on the first try. <sighs> a panthropinization. There we go. Did it. I'll drop it in Slack for spelling. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a little help on that a, one. A panther pitterization, is that what you said? <laughs> a panther A panthropinization. Yeah. So I, I thought the word panther was in there, so. Ah, uh, a panthropina. Hold on. You can spell it with an S or a Z. Pinization. Oh. oh. Well. Asian, one of our favorite suff suffixes, Chris. <laughs> I'm surprised. Is, uh, one of you is going to take some sort of Latin class or some sort of, <laughs> just, just to get better at, the, at these words. Not likely. Uh, it's like the study of. Did we not decide that last time when we had something about the rocket that shot out of the water? <laughs> uh, I'm that sure. That was, uh, what was that topic? That was the... Um, the facial hair. What was, what's the facial hair thing called? <laughs> I'm, I don't want to provide anything because this is funny to me. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying this. The facial hair thing is called? Uh, let's go down the list of things that we have done recently. <laughs> Pogology? Uh, Mondegreen. Oh, allergy. Mon yeah. Mondegreen, pognology, apophenia, hysterosity, uh, lipogram, uh, Dorland <laughs> sign, San Paku, Saint Apollonia. No, you can stop. I think what I've established is I have no idea what the topics have been. That's that's <laughs> that's squarely, squarely. Uh, the grammarians or, war. That definitely has yeah. to be facial hair. The best topics um, are the ones that have circled back though, and that you've been able to like integrate into real life. Petrichor. Petrichor is. Yeah. Petrichor was a good early topic. I feel. Yeah. A life changing topic. A life changing. <laughs> altering the landscape of conversation <laughs> yeah um great so that's, that's legit though <laughs> a panthropinization this is the uh sation of the uh panthropin <laughs> uh so, so uh, <laughs> and a 
panther pin is a type of pin, but. <laughs> <laughs> A panthropinization. Appenthrop? Uh, so What's an appenthrop, Chris? A appenthrop? An appenthrop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so... So I was, I was looking at this and thinking that the first half of the word looks like anthropology. Except no. It's, except, it's, it's from, except it's from a panthrop... An, an, an <laughs> panthropology. A panthropology. Uh, which is the study, the study of, of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have pockets? Are they pleated? What kind of seam? Yeah. It is not the study of pants. Are um, cuffs? What? What? <laughs> Are they uh, fashionable? <laughs> a, pan a panthropology uh, is the study of uh, the Greek god pan and so a panthro a panthropinization is uh appropriation of pan like qualities hmm. appropriation of pan like qualities um panthropopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopop
uh, it could it could be the study of uh, it could, no uh, well a, a pants are we are we certain it's not the study of pants a panthropology it, yeah. it, let's go down if a panthropology is the study of pants which is not, it is. but it but it could be but it's not but it, it could be <laughs> if a panthropology is the study of pants and a, a panthropinization would be putting pants on. It'd be a really, really extravagant way of saying putting on your pants. Um, the you're question, right? And now I really want it to be that. The question, so I however, get this it every morning before my cup of coffee. The question is, yes, is this pants in the North American sense of the word? Or pants ah, in the a good question. English sense of the word, because those are two different those things. Those are trousers. Yeah, yes. I think that. Well, and, uh, yeah. and if you say pants, then that's underwear. Yeah. So it's so about this underwear. Is outer garment oh, and not underpants. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the outer pants. So it's the, the fanciest way of saying, I put my pants on one leg at a time, just yeah. like everybody else. Of course a scientist would say it that way. <laughs> Hmm. Which pants? Well, I think that's the study. I mean, it could be any pants, really. Like any article of clothing that has two leg holes. So squirts qualify, right? I guess. This is, does this go back to what makes a salad a salad? <laughs> what makes pants? What makes pants pants? Ooh. <laughs> two, two, two leg holes. With the intention of being worn over your underpants, I think. Two because then shorts are pants. Yeah. I think they're a subset of pants, but yeah. A subset of pants. You're just wearing like three layers of pants. <laughs> By that definition. And then like, what about so, armholes for a t-shirt? Is a t-shirt... No, because these are arms, not legs. Unless you put it on a dog, in which case, then yes, it becomes pants temporarily. <laughs> How does, but no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> but then you're talking about like, so the front paws on a dog are arms and legs versus just they're all legs? No, the dog's all legs. So if I put my shirt on my dog, my shirt wouldn't cease to be a shirt. It would become pants with a head hole. Cease to be a shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of television or something. Uh, I also just picture a dog just being like, I wanted no part of this experiment. I don't know why I'm over here wearing clothes all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, just a sad dog, like <laughs> drooping head. <laughs> Does that so? Where do where do bathing suits with built-in liners fall? Uh, on the pants. Like the netting. On, on the pants. Like are they pants ratio? Yeah, <laughs> they may not be pants. Well, they're shorts. <laughs> it does feel so like a subset of pa pants, but of with the intent of going over underpants, you're not wearing underpants under your bathing suit. Maybe you are. I who am I to judge? But generally, the intent is not. <laughs> Well, they're not underpants. You know, they're not. They're not designed with the intent to go under other pants. No, they sure aren't. Well, this definition's broken. <laughs> uh, Something uh, with binary chats. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. let me continue the intro. You can follow us on Twitter and um, other places on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> If you've listened this far and don't follow us. Yeah. Yeah, why? And <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure I was asking why to. Why have you listened this far? Why don't you follow us? Why, why do you listen? Write in. Let us know. Why do you Yeah, listen? tell us why you listen to this podcast. That would be a fun question or statement. <laughs> um, okay. So a panthropinization, maybe it comes from the word pantheon. Like oh, pantheon yes. of gods. So it means to migrate your web host. <laughs> no, <laughs> but Why I do suppose. Do I ever bring tech-related things to the table? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
It's a good idea. It's <laughs> when you migrate to Pantheon, it's called a panthropization. This call is not sponsored by Pantheon. A panthropin. Uh, um, no, but we should ask for the sponsor one episode. <laughs> I'll, I'll get on that. Just pass them um, our analytics. It's a it's a sure thing. Yeah, maybe don't bother with that part. It's not the it's not the quantity. It's it's not the quality either. Actually, it's well, we could just make up a code something. and see if people try to use it. <laughs> if you use oh. binary jazz one hundred on Pantheon, yeah. you get one hundred dollars off your first year. Go do it. <laughs> <laughs> and actually it's variable so however many zeros you put after that that's how much <laughs> so i mean well, you have to have a, you have to like increase the number of years by by 10 as well yeah <laughs> an I equal sure. number of zero corresponding um no uh, so if it's a pantheon of like gods a panthropization would be when uh, when like the romans stole gods from the greeks it but it starts with an a so it's the opposite of Right, it starts with an A. That means it's the inverse. Oh, so it's when it's when they, the gods return. Give the gods back. It's like yeah. no, this god sucks. You can As someone it. whose name starts with an A, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel so. I'm the inverse of a listen. You're the inverse of listen. Yeah. Yeah, except it's a double L, so it's more like a soft Y. Oh. Like Eason. Eason. Yeah. yeah. This whole time I've been mispronouncing my own name. I Eason. Well, no, I think the A in, the A invalidates the double L sound. Invalidates. It, language is funky, you know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not there's here no, to. There's no it's, judgment. It's just. Yeah. 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 And it's pronounced Gary. It's spelled S T E V E. What the heck, right? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're on anything with that, Chris. No, the pantheon. No, no, not at all. No, no. As, as I think you're as on to something as I am with the pants conversation. <laughs> so I think we're not going anywhere. Uh, well, then I go back to the appropriation of um, something or other. I don't remember what my first definition was. <laughs> the appropriation it was the appropriation. Of something. It was definitely the appropriation of something. It, no, that's anthropomorphic. Never mind. I was going to say this is like making giving things a personality, right? <laughs> like if you have like a cute bobblehead, like you tap it and, and make it talk back to yourself. Speaking that's a really body. specific example. <laughs> I, I, don't even have, I don't know why. I've been watching The Office lately. I'm thinking of white shirt, apparently. Okay. I don't have any desk tchotchke. I do have a desk tchotchke. I have a Raspberry Pi. I don't know if that counts. That doesn't count as Deschotsky. You need, you need <laughs> like, let's see, what do we got? Uh, you need like a fidget cube and uh, a Buddha and a Ganesh and um, a Are my Deschotskys like, are they actually behind Because I have this like accordion. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a tchotchke, but it's certainly enjoyable. You have a desk thing, though. It's not on your desk. But, well, I have all stuff not on my desk, too. I also have this binder full of D&D &D crap. That's <laughs> and then I have this thing that's like a, a walkie bug. Yeah, but well, see, those... if you put that on your desk, that would be a desk tchotchke. But if, since you retrieved it from a shelf. Right. Then it's, it's, shelf, sh it's shelf tchotchke. I've got those, but too. But I, I, don't, I don't have a lot, a lot of desk space. I also have a, I also have a little walkie bug thing. What? <laughs> you both have these like weird little mechanical insects. What's going on? I guess I'm dead since it's not working. What is it supposed to do? It's like one of those hand bubblers. You warm it up in it. Oh, yeah. oh. I guess I'm dead. <laughs> I also have, um, I also have a series of, of nested robots. I like this part of the show. But but that's, again, that was on my desk, but is no longer on my desk. I have nesting dolls on a shelf tchotchke as well. Only mine are Russian um, dictators. Oh, good. So for, for, the <laughs> for the longest time, the kids would ask me questions, and I would give them silly answers 
whatever the question was, that my answer would be 16 marbles. So I have a bag. They got me for Christmas. They got me a bag of 16 marbles. Like what have you for dinner? Awesome. 16 marbles. Nice. So I have a bag of 16 marbles exactly. <laughs> How are you liking your standing desk so far, by the way? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Do you want to collapse at this point or are you uh, not? At no, that? I'm up and down a lot. So I also have a stool and I lower it and sit. I'm probably up and down twice an hour. Um, I feel my shoulders a bit, but uh, otherwise I really like it. I like um, being able to like dance around on calls and stuff. I do that. Yeah. I do that anyway when we talk. Um, so I sort of talked on calls, but uh, for typing, it's taken some getting used to. I'm not sure if I have the right keyboard. I'm using just a flat keyboard and I have the Somewhere in the corner, I have one of those Microsoft ones with the angle on it, and that might feel better on my wrists. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's still early days. Yeah, it's only been like three, four, four days. Four days. But this is like the new corner that I work in, maybe for a while. We'll see. Until it's hammock season, and then who knows? Yeah, then it's we've just had hammock. crazy heat this week, so the timing could have, could not have been better for this to show up. Like it was ninety five. Which I think in Florida with humidity is just, I mean, it's like opening an oven when you walk out the door. It's crazy. Florida is a mystery to me. <laughs> oh, me too. It's a, it's a fickle state. I like it. It's crazy. Crazy. I feel like the weather would definitely keep me on my toes if I lived there, at least for the first year. I just would be like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. This is not like any other place that I've experienced. We camped on uh, Friday night, the kids and I, um, the older kids and I. Uh, set up a tent and camped by lake uh, not far from here and it was it, like the low 70s and the next day it was 94 degrees that's 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 pretty crazy like now it's and now that it's been up in the 90s like I think it's it's down to like the high, mid 80s uh, uh, overnight maybe low 80s overnight so it doesn't ever really cool down wow we're at time already <laughs> I think it's, we wasted a lot of time while I was rebooting huh uh yeah it's possible yeah probably yeah. well i don't know i don't know maybe wasn't time no no it's, it's just 32 minutes we're we're it's 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 appropriate mine says 26 so that means that oh then yes yeah 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 after my uh computer thing well the then we just know I have a what uh a, a panthropinization is yes da, da, da. Is I don't know why I did that. Um, now I have to bring it up. It's the resignation of human concerns or complete withdrawal from the world and its associated problems. So a fancy word for becoming a hermit and ditching. <laughs> ditching. That the... sounds awesome, actually. <laughs> so and I think one of the example sentences was, a panthropinization is looking more and more attractive in the current climate. <laughs> Which could ap apply to Florida's actual climate or the current political climate. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's nothing to do with pants unless that's your, maybe has something to do with how you shy away from the world. Putting on lots of pants. Or taking off or, all the pants and then oh, that's a, the oh, world okay. shies away from you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have any listener questions. I think they're all Allison questions. There, yeah, we have several Allison questions. <laughs> um, I just realized I could get a fancy microphone. Yeah. Put it. Mm. You can live your best life. <laughs> you could. You could be like me. You could get an actual like podcasting mic. Is it USB? Yeah. I have a little USB board. I think I would probably just use an XLR mic I have and plug it into the USB board. But then where to mount it? This is the problem. Hopefully the weather improves. And it's I can a good see. problem to have. If you have, if you have a desk, you can mount it on the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So questions. <laughs> uh, if you had the world's attention for thirty seconds, what would you say? Oh wow! Hey man, quit being assholes. Like, look at that other person. They're a human too. Cut them some slack. They're, they're trying, just like you are. Now hug. I guess that's how I close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what I like about this question is that I picture like gigantic like bullhorns all over the world broadcasting this message. 
<laughs> like yeah video video 30 board. seconds is such a short amount of time i just think it's a really long time <laughs> I, mean, I think it's, it feels long yeah but if you had the whole world's attention and you could say anything for and you had 30 seconds to do it like i would spend a lot of time constructing that speech yeah no i i would too i think i think mine would be something about a climate change i think if it were foisted upon me like this like you have 30 seconds to address the world starting now the first 10 seconds would be like, ah. Uh, <laughs> be like a uh, weird introduction. Like, hi, I'm Gary. I don't know if you know me from such. We have this podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't crash my server. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, it would. Yeah. Wow. So you'd, it would be like a pep talk, sort of like, let's shape up or ship out sort of situation. I think more than that. I think it would be a call to like, uh, it's such a, it's like, like I don't want to like call out different cultures, but I think there's like, there's a thing where we have, we grow up with like, you know, certain belief systems that are just inherently n not equal, you know? And I think that there's, out, there's would like, you call it individuals like, <laughs> like Steve. <laughs> <laughs> all you steves all you Steve. right <laughs> some of you are misogynists with that shit right um and carol stop taking my lunch every day <laughs> <laughs> it has the name gary like written on it in the fridge because it is mine <laughs> my lunch i guess the lunch one is pretty oddly specific isn't it yeah <laughs> Like, Jerry, I hate that clicking thing you do with your teeth. <laughs> uh. Well, that makes, think... wanna, that makes me want to, like, melt into a pool of, let me see how to pronounce this word. A, a pro, a pro... <laughs> Apanthropinization. A, a, something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> All we right. can definitely put this in a word, like a pile of words that I will not remember. That's because I haven't successfully pronounced it. Correctly. Yeah, that, that's fair. Yeah. So uh, you could you could actually roll this in like three months. You could roll this one again, and we'd be like, <laughs> "Oh, what is that? Probably something to do with pants." Did we have an episode about pants? No. This this has something to do with returning gods to the pantheon, right? <laughs> uh. Ow. What is your favorite thing that is in your fridge right now? Orange juice. <laughs> in my fridge. Ooh. Um, yeah, orange juice. <laughs> we uh, have I, um, leftovers from last night that are jackfruit taco ooh. like mix. That's delicious. My favorite thing in Allison's fridge are jackfruit yeah. taco. <laughs> Uh, I guess my favorite thing, we don't have a whole lot in the fridge right now. Um, I don't really have leftovers. Uh, I did make, I did make, uh, we have a dish that we call Experimac. Uh, it's called Experimac because there's actually a store called Experimac, uh, and they fix Mac computers, but Aaron decided that it would be a much better name for like, a, a like a, a restaurant where you have, where you get like mac and cheese, but you can put any sort of topping and whatever mm -hmm. on it. So then we've started making Experimac like the way it should be. Like it should be mac and cheese with like whatever you want to put on it. It's Experimac. It's, um, so, wow. so we have, uh, we have like a cheese sauce that I made for that, uh, in the fridge. That's, that's really our left. And yeah, that's really our leftovers in the fridge. Um, and we've been trying to get, find the, the perfect cheese sauce. And this wasn't it. Uh, we found one that was really, really good and then failed to write it down and then lost the printed recipe. So we've been trying to reclaim it. We're trying to find it and like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Um, so yeah, I have no idea where it came from. Um, and that one, that one wasn't it. It had too much mustard. Uh, so that's not oh. my favorite. That's not my favorite thing in the fridge. Uh, I think probably uh, my favorite thing in the fridge is red curry paste. No, um, peely peely sauce. Peely peely sauce. Yeah. I don't know what it is. So peely peely sauce is um, it's an African hot sauce. Um, I can't remember what part of Africa. Maybe Sudan. I'm not sure. 
um, it, it's actually part, it's in a lot of like uh, Africa and in, um, and even in some parts of India, there's, there's Piri Piri and then like the Middle East, there's, there's Pili Pili. Um, and there's all different types. So this particular Pili Pili sauce uh, was gifted to me. Um, and it was made by, I believe, a Sudanese refugee um, who started a company through that, that uh, Spice Kitchen incubator program. Um, and it's like really, it, it's very flavorful. It's got like garlic and like tomatoes and stuff, but it's super, super, super hot. And you only put like a tiny drop of it in, into stuff. Um, what, and, what, is, what gives it the spice? Uh, ridiculously hot spice, uh, ridiculously hot peppers. Like really hot peppers. Hotter than, I mean, like habanero, except more. Ramping it up. Yeah. That's why you only do like Eye a dropper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's good. I mean, like you put that drop in and you can taste it. I mean, you, it's, it's, it, you, you, it's there. It doesn't, it's not the sort of thing where you put a tiny drop in and then you don't taste the, the spice you, or you don't taste the flavor. You get a flavor out of it too. I like hot sauces where they have that flavor rather than just the punch in the face. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If I want to punch in the face, I'll get like Chahula or whatever. <laughs> or just get punched in the face. <laughs> or just get punched in the face. I could punch myself in the face, maybe. Also an option. Let's close on that note. I want to watch this for the next like minute. Punch yourself in the face. But not too hard. Like no damage. Just enough to no. flinch no. from it. No. That'll be a quiz to bring to the table. Hot sauce or punch in the face? <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> ghost pepper or punch in the face? Oh. Punch in the Trader face. Trader Joe's has these like the the ghost pepper chili grinder thing. Nope. Oh. They're good uh, in great moderation. I did not know this when I first opened oh, them. Oh, taco. And it's a taco, so I kind of forced myself through it. Mm. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.